Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. Today I'm doing a challenge from Caroline's Craft Trees and Journals. And the challenge is um, her weekly challenge, and it's number 14. And <laughs> it's quite a um, mix up. It's animals, angels, and alphabet. <laughs> so, this is what I came up with. Here is my little angel. This is an image from a greeting card and I just printed it out really small. I thought she was just precious. Here's my little animal. I have a little bird. And he came from, believe it or not, one of those big sheets. It was a free printable. I'm not sure who it was from. But it had all, it had like five birds on it and they were big. And I um, put it into my um, silhouette design because I don't have any fancy programs um, I don't have like word or anything and I just used my knife and I sliced it so all I had was him shrunk him down real big or uh, real big shrunk him down real big well this uh, first this is a um, this is B slide slide mount oh boy let me get my mouse so I can tell you for sure I had this in my on my um, on my mat in my silhouette and this is bee and daisy slide from little scraps of heaven designs so i put him in there and i shrunk him down until i knew he was the size where he would fit right here um i sliced him with my knife so i only had him and not the rest of them i just got rid of them and then um shrunk him down to because i wanted him to fit right here and then i printed him out from my just off my I wanted I just printed all of these from my silhouette so I only had one one page to print because I don't have on my I don't have I don't even have word on my computer so I just have to use what I have <laughs> so anyway that's how I did that he was I mean he was a big <laughs> it was got it had five birds on it and it was a free um, printable from somebody and so I just shrunk him down so she's going to be in here and then my alphabet is going to be one of these and I'm thinking it's going to be um, I thought Merry Christmas was one here yes it is it's right here I think it's going to be that and that's another free printable that I'm not sure I just wish that they had their names on the bottom of all of them so I knew who they came from because I have a hard time remembering. Now what I do is I put it, I, I rename the file or I add to the file and I put the name of who it is, but this was older and I don't know. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is put her on this little piece so that I've got her taken care of. And I have a bunch of scraps over here and then I have some Christmas paper. But I just have Christmas paper took over. <laughs> And I have some jewels and stuff, but down underneath here I have some scraps of some things that I thought I could use to cover the slide and dress up the slide. I also had these I pulled out that I thought that I might use instead of the bird, but I, I really love the bird. These are from Pretty Little Studios and they're bird um, flare. But I really think I like that. I want to really go with the vintage look and they don't really work with that. so. Um, but I'm going to get her onto here so we've got that done and this is just a piece of paper I found in my it looks like it's torn off the edge of a page old book page and I sprayed it with gold I I guess it looks gold to me and uh, I thought it looked pretty so I guess what I will do is just glue her down to the center of this piece and then I thought that it would look nice just to have this, but I want it edged with a little bit of brown, not a ton of brown, just a little bit. Just put a little edging. Okay, I just put a little bit, not very much. I didn't want it to take over. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on her. I've just got my little magazine over here that I use for my glue stick. Mix a 
perfect. I don't know where the center of this. I think it won't hurt to bend this because I'm in the center of this. That's going to be all covered up. My glue dried while I was doing that, so now i got to re-glue it. <laughs> That's about the center of her. I must not have that cut quite straight. The the her, the angel piece. I don't know where my little thing is. Just pull out a card. I always tell well, I always tell them I want my gift cards back and they kind of look at me funny. I'm like, you know, I use them. <laughs> they probably think, what do you use those for? Don't worry about it, I use them. <laughs> and I may add more to this, but for now, I know this is what I want on here, and then if I add more, I do, but at least I've got her. I know that I've got something on her, and if I want to use more of this paper elsewhere on the thing, then I've got, oops, I forgot to cut it. I've got it all taken care of on here. So I've got a scrap there that I can use somewhere else on the slide mount. We only have to cover the front of the slide mount, so I've got way more paper than I need. <laughs> but I didn't want to be digging while I was recording because I'm trying. My videos have been getting really long again because I don't know what I want. I don't have it out. All that jazz. That is really crooked. This side's gonna have to. Well, so I hope y'all are doing good. We're having a rough day here at our house. My husband's power chair broke yesterday. We were doing what we call walking and rolling <laughs> over to our polling place, and uh, his we hit a bump, and his chair just quit working. <laughs> we thought the battery drained, but no, we left it. Um, we left it charging all night long and it still won't work. So something came loose when we hit, when he hit that bump. I had to push him home. It was quite a long, a little bit of a long haul. <laughs> <laughs> it's not flat. <laughs> oh, but you know what? God put our neighbor home just in time to push him up our little hill and up our ramp. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Because <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to do that one. Because that was the steepest bit of the whole journey. <laughs> so anyway, but we voted. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the trouble we get ourselves into. So anyway, his friend who owns the power chair that loaned it to us doesn't think he can get here today, but he might. He might be able to get here this evening. Don't know. But otherwise, he'll be here tomorrow to work on it. So hubby is confined to his other regular wheelchair. <laughs> okay, so let's get this. Um, no, um, scored so we can. I don't need to do the back of this. So the way I do that is it's got the slits, so I just um, line it up on here. I have tried to just fold it myself without scoring it, but I have. I'm not very good at that, and I always get it crooked. Now, if you're better at that than me, you certainly do not have to score it because it's got it's got the points here for you, but. Man, I am just not good at it. So, I've got this little scoreboard. Why not use it? <laughs> I 
to get it done right because <laughs> I can't seem to do it without the scoreboard. I just cannot seem to get it straight and look I'm still trying to do it crooked. But this, this um, paper piece that is really cute. It comes with bees and um, uh, daisies and little vines and oh it is really cute and it's from little scraps of heaven designs I'm just using this today I have used and used this slide mount I've got the I just remembered I made it this I made this little um, Rolodex with all of it Isn't it cute it's adorable I love it okay so now um, I don't really want to adhere her and I'm going to take her out so she doesn't get dirty. I'm going to put my little bird up here and my little words up here and we'll start putting some things on on there and I've got some I'm going to put that under the window too so let's see what do we want to put first I found this hymnal that I had done in some blue. So we'll put that there. Um, God, I need some room. <laughs> oh, if my desk could be bigger. <laughs> Somewhere I thought I had some. Oh, yeah, I got this. This would be cool. Let's just tear a little strip of it right here. And right here. Here and I that up. I'm gonna have to move those again because I put them right where I ink things up. Where are these scissors? Oh boy. Oh. I don't need to worry about that little message. And I don't understand my computer. I went into Facebook and I turned off notification sounds. And I turned off notifications for Facebook, I thought, because I didn't want them make a noise while I was recording. And I thought, I don't need my computer sending me these notifications. I know. I, and plus, it drives us crazy at night. And it's still doing it. I just got out my antique linen and put it on there to kind of darken that up. So we'll just glue this down somewhere on here. I'm, I'm going to try not to be picky. Try not to um, pre-plan this and think this over too much. Just slap some pieces down here. And then I'll probably slap over it. i got to um, turn my magazine piece that kind of stuck to it okay and then let's see I'll set that off to the side so I don't try to use that again what else do I have in here I have this piece that might look kind of cute right there but it needs a torn edge This is a tedious. How long do I want it? I want it to cover up the whole window, I think. So the window is covered up, and then I can. Oh, this way. I'm going this way. So let's go like this. There we go. Okay. It's way over there for some reason. Can't explain that one. I'll just 
just flip that around to the side. And I need those scissors back that I put up. I'll leave them out this time. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I don't need that paper anymore. Now, what else do I have down here? I have this pretty paper. That will look pretty right there. And that takes up all that space, pretty much. I need to tear off this part of it right here. I'm just kind of marking along the edge of the slide with my thumbnail there. Oh, and that tore it. This is old paper. Really old paper. And then that tore that. Okay, so I'll put it right there. And I kind of like it, even though I just did that, I kind of like it coming up there. So I'll just... I'm going to use this glue on that because um, I've tried to use my glue gun on this paper before, or my glue gun, my glue stick on this paper before, and it just shreds it. It is so old. Or so just that kind of paper. It is old paper. I remember it is really old. But I hope I'm where you, yeah, I'm where you can see. Put that paper back up there. I don't know. And I'm not going to make a shaker out of this. I'm just going to make a pretty little piece. And it can be a pocket behind, not a pocket inside. It's not going to last up to be unfolded back behind. Alright. So then maybe I need to put some of this that is already torn, so I'll put a little bit of it along this edge here. My scissors that are terrible to cut with, so I hope I got that right. Let me make sure. I want that to come down like that. And I only want this one to come up there. So, yeah, I did okay. I'm so hard on those scissors, they don't cut very well. <laughs> They're not for really cutting straight lines and stuff. <laughs> okay. It's still hanging over the edge. I'll let it hang there for a little bit. All right, then across the top. Oh boy, I don't know. Let's see. That looks, oh, I wanted to use the other side. I was like, that just really looks bad. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, we haven't used any of our Christmas paper. Let's use some of this across the top. 
Christmas trees don't really show though, it's too skinny. What else do I have laid out here? Where did all my Christmas paper go? Um, oh, here. Here it is. Okay. I've got snowflakes. I could use some snowflakes. Uh, this little bitty piece is big enough though. I don't need to cut into that big piece. This little piece is plenty big. Let me tear. thinking I didn't need to yeah that'll work okay Let's glue let me lift that up and make sure it doesn't glue to the back oops I didn't get it way over where I wanted it I don't think or maybe I did okay there we go and maybe a little bit of red paper down in here somehow. Um, let me tear some here. Tore that much bigger than I planned on. That's okay, we can take care of that. Ink that up. This piece, this side here, to be the side that's not straight. And I'm thinking, well, you know, that would be cute going all the way across the bottom, wouldn't it? Let's just do that. Let's do that. Get the glue on there. Sorry about my chair. Maybe I need to adjust how I'm sitting on it and it would quit. There, it probably helped a little bit. I was sitting right on the very edge of it. I need to learn not to do that because it makes it squeak a whole lot more when I sit on the edge. Okay, I'll cut that off in a minute. Oh, I probably should have tucked something under there. What do I have? I have a bit of doily here that I could tuck under there. That will need this. Oh, I left that. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Oops. All right, let's see how this would look. Maybe this side is the best side to be showing. Okay, I think I need some more glue underneath there though. All of my layers are coming up now. And I need a bit of glue, where'd that other one, oh not glue, um, oh my goodness, this is all a mess. Okay, before I try to use that, I gotta get some glue cleaned up here. Oh, glue, glue, glue. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. There we go. I have alcohol in this. Cleans it up real fast. So if you get glue, clean my finger up real fast too. get glue on your glass mat. That will clean it up real fast. Okay, now, now that has surely dried enough that I can get some ink on there where that's white. I don't like that little bit of that doily white. 
because the manila paper is showing through and I don't like that. Okay, so now, what else up here? Um, oh, I know what I have. I have this paper and I need to, um, let's see, what color would I want to run over that? I guess, oh, probably this old paper. Let's just use the old paper. This is embossed. Let's just do it over here, down here on this part. And it is embossed with a beautiful Anna Griffin um, and ornament paper. So I want to bring the ornaments out. Well, maybe I should have used my darker because it's not coming out very well. There. Now it's coming out. Oh, oh, the whole ornament, the whole ornament is coming out. Oh my. Well, maybe I should do this in and hope that the ornaments on this end don't come out. Like it's popping out of the paper, the ornament is. Okay, I'll use this in and I'll show you what I mean. This ornament here is popping up out of the paper. Okay, so um, let's see if I can tear off part of this and we'll glue I have a lot of these, so it's it's okay to use it. I sat at a crop one day and I used my friend's embossing folders and that's all I did all day long is emboss. <laughs> it was fun. I, I had a blast. I embossed and I embossed and I embossed. I took book pages and that's all I did was emboss all day. Oh, I don't know about that. You can't tell with the ornaments now. Okay, well, okay, that's 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 not gonna work. Okay, um oh. Okay, here's some paper right here we can use. Let's use this one. Oh, I just dropped my glue stick on the floor. This one right here. This will work. Where's my... I haven't had my ruler out this whole time, have I? Wow. Okay. Let's get some glue on this one. I didn't want to use more of the... Christmas paper because I didn't want it to be all across the top. I thought that might look kind of funny. Okay, let me open this up and get some trimming done. Oh, I'm using that because of the glue. I thought, why am I using these scissors again? But it's because of the glue. Yeah, my forgetfulness. These scissors, are, they just don't work very well. To clean them, to clean them off for a minute here. Yeah. 
They're working much better now. Okay. I do need my little bitty scissors, which I have out, to get into this little one right here, which it should be dry. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty. I like that. Now we just need to ink around all the outside edges here. I was trying to get a piece of gluey paper off my thumb and put it in the trash. I was having a hard time. Oops, I didn't get this in. Oh, I didn't go in this curve of it. That's why it looks so funny. There we go. All right, okay, so now we can glue, start working on this, and I will wipe my hands down a little bit here. Let me get my double-sided tape. Double-sided right now. Let me just trim it so that it's one layer. My um, little trimmer is not big enough to do that. Let me get the other one. It's my favorite one. I gotta find my least favorite one. This one's big enough. It is. Okay. Now we have one layer to work with. And, oops, those are the little bits off of it. Where did it go? I can't, oh, okay. <laughs> I need it to be about, I'm having a hard time seeing it, about that big. Big enough? Oh, did I keep the wrong side? Um, I cut that way wrong. No, I didn't. I got it right. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I was having a hard time even seeing the thing. Looks like glitter. Glitter on my tape. Can't imagine, can you? Let me do this something next. This is going to be the hardest to get to. My fingers don't want to work. Since 
since I'm not doing a um, shaker, it doesn't have to be so precise at all the corners either. So that's good. Um, there. No, that's not my bone folder. Well, I'm going to do it without it because I have hidden it from myself. I just thought it would look pretty with the acetate there, or not the acetate, but that. I don't know. I guess that's called acetate. I don't know. I still, I'm having trouble seeing it. I'm not sure I'm getting it where it belongs. So then, she is going to go right there. Yeah, that looks pretty. Okay, but then I gotta make sure I get her where I want her. So I guess it's time for more tape. More tape. And I put my tape up. <laughs> oh, shoot. This time I'm going all the way to the bottom. I want to go here too to keep her in place because she doesn't go all the way to the bottom. And I'll go here. I've lost one bone folder, I'll go for this one. Okay. Hmm. It's wanting to stick to that. I knew it would, that's why I went ahead and got my bone folder out. Okay, now this will be tricky, tricky, tricky. I'm going to take this and make sure I have her. I hope I'm not getting my hair in your, or my head. There we go. I got her where I want her. Now, um, I think I will just use this. I have my glue gun on, but uh, I think I'll do this. Now I could actually make a pocket out of that now. It would be very easily done if I just put some scrap cardstock there now. I just thought of that. Um, I have some red right here, I think. That's pink. It's not red. Is that red? Pink. I keep pulling up pink. Well, I'm gonna put it there anyway. It looks right enough to me. If I just put, I could have put Manila. Manila would look there better, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do that. Let's put Manila there. Let's put Manila there. This is what you call. Oh, I could do this. Watch me. <laughs> that glue was dry and it's not 
I'm glad this isn't going to show because it's all bubbly. I didn't get it spread out and so it's all bubbly. But it's done. Okay, now I'm going to pause you and get this cut out. Okay, so I got to admit, I immediately ripped that off. <laughs> I couldn't stand out. It was all rippled and all that. I know it's not going to show, but mm, I just can't do it. Okay, so then I traced it and put it on there. So now we can make a pocket out of this. I could have left it without putting a backing on it, but then um, anytime you put something in there, it would have caught on that little section there, and I don't, I don't like that. So we're not going to do that. So then do we want this to be a top pocket or a side pocket? Um, I'm thinking let's make it a side pocket. Let's do that. Let's make it a side pocket. Do we want to put a little notch there? Um, I probably do not have a punch that will punch through that. I don't know. I don't know if my whale tail would punch through that because I've now got two layers of file folder. So instead of running that, I am going to do this. I'm going to do this. Instead of running that to find out, I'm going to take two layers of this and I'm going to see. I would rather run a little bit of file folder. Looky there! Alright, well, we can put a little bit of a notch there. Can't put a very big one. I think I would like to center it in the, in the window than in the whole thing. I think it would look better centered in the window. Those went flying. <laughs> I don't know where they went, but they went flying. Okay, that looks cute. Okay, so that's my suggestion. If you do not know if your punch is going to go through something, and you have that, whatever you made that out of available, try it out on that. If you've got a little bit of that, try it out on that before you go and you run your project because I would rather run a little bit of that than my whole project that I just spent time working on <laughs> seriously because you know you'd hate to go through all that time working on that and then your your punch just kind of makes a whole little bit of a divot in it I'm just trying to get that manila folder on there that I put on there could see it from the sides. I forgot too, I had that uh, acetate all the way to the edge, so I had that too, but it wasn't very thick. Okay, so now we will put, I'm going to cut that so it's where I've been tearing it, it's, it's jagged. Go from here. To the edge. And I'm going to cut that so that it goes around the curve. I'm about to lose my bird and my words. My bird words. Again, so that I've got a straight edge to go to the back again. Okay, there we go.
Oops, I forgot. I zoomed in. I need to um, make sure I'm up here. I thought, well, when we get to doing this little bitty stuff, you might like to be zoomed in. And you know what I should have done? I should have put something pretty there. And it is stuck good. Let's see. What could I put there real quick? I've got... Well, that doesn't have to be real quick. I can think on that for a little bit. Now, I have this wish or wonder. I think I like wish. So I'm going to stick that right there. Well, I better ink around it. That looks terrible the way that's cut. They didn't cut that very good on the stickers, did they? So I'm going to stick that right there because I want to use that. And I'm going to cut out Merry Christmas because I want to use that. If it fits, I hope it fits. I just thought of that. Will it fit across there? And it's red. Oh well, we're gonna have to use it anyway. Excuse me for just a moment. I had an itch. I have to scratch. those off to the side. Let's see, is that going to fit across there? Well, maybe that will go across the top. Yeah, it's going to go across the top because it doesn't quite look right with that red down there at the bottom. They just don't work together. <laughs> okay, so we've got those things we're going to use. Then I also have these that I wondered about using. And in here, this is a lovely little box that my friend gave me. Let me put my punch away. And in here, I'll get it open. I wondered about some of this on here. But that's more red, isn't it? I didn't know about some of this on here. Like around the edge, I wondered. I thought that might look really pretty around the edge, kind of like garland. Doesn't that look pretty? No, that's too big. These are too big. There's just lovely stuff in here. Look at this, how they package this. Isn't that pretty? That's a playing card. It's just beautiful. I'm sure that this was got off Etsy. Little um, glass beads. They're pretty. But I really thought about that. The other thing I thought about, since there was blue in this, was bringing in some of these somewhere. Maybe, oh, that looks pretty. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. I had cut off some of this, so I could also do it like that. But you know, I like the I like that better. I like the four, and I also have some of this. But no, I like I like that better. I also have some red satin ribbon. Now look, I could. No. I was thinking about doing that, but no, I like that red satin ribbon. That red is throwing everything off that I had planned. <laughs> oh my, I, I messed up my plans, didn't I? Oh dear. I also have some blue snowflakes that we could um, put around. So, let's get this down. Let's put the 
um, let's put this down and I think I'll get my this glue. This is a, what is this? Scotch Quick Dry. I'm going to put this right across here and I will put it over this way and see if we can put this this little bitty bit of this right here still because I really like that I think that is really adorable in that corner and we can so we're <coughs> I have these scissors that I cut this kind of stuff with it just chopped it right off didn't it and let's use my hot glue gun for this I hope I hope it'll glue this down I have my finger yes I have my finger <laughs> I think I will need it for this this little bit <laughs> don't you okay I'll glue something right there some glue and I will stick that side in it I have trouble controlling this finger. Then I will bring this side back around and stick my finger there. <laughs> my little rubber finger. These things are really great once you get the hang of them. But they're just not like using your real finger, you know? But that also means your real finger is not getting burned to smithereens. Oh, my little. My little tray that catches my drips came off my glue gun. I don't want my drips on my table. Okay. I don't know why that came off of there. That's not a good thing. Uh, did it break? Um, huh. Okay, well. It's kind of sitting there. Well, I'll worry about that when I get done here. Okay, so then my little bird's got to go on here because he's got to be sitting there watching. He can go just like that, I think. And does he need a little... What were he doing? Oh, down here we're doing this, aren't we? forgot what I was doing. So I probably better put this down here first, huh? So I need those scissors back, don't I? I need to cut a straight line of this first. Whenever, wherever I use this, I didn't cut it straight last. It's not going through this as easy as it went through that other stuff. Okay, and then I want to cut it right here. Alright. So, to glue this down, Mm. What do you use to glue this down, you guys? I've never glued this big of a piece down. Do you just put some glue on with your glue, glue stick? Oh, I hope that's not a mistake. Just spreading it out a little bit there. Oh, oh, crud. That's going to be... Oh. Sorry, everything shifted on me there. I think that worked okay. Okay, well, that's what I did, and that worked okay. Now, my little birdie. I'm going to use my tweezers so I can get my little bird back where I want it. He's kind of small and very flimsy. Okay, so let's put some glue on him. And we'll put him kind of right there. So he's watching her. He's watching through the little window at her. Now, 
do we want one of these? I was thinking like right up here. Yeah, I like that right there. And I'm going to hold my hold them with my tweezers because I'm going to put just a little daub of glue stick on them because I have been using these for years and I have been finding them in the bottom of scrapbook sleeves and so I'm kind of learning my lesson with these little things that they don't um, have good glue on them. They feel like they are very very sticky but that stick power doesn't last for very long. Oh, they're not wanting to stick down. There we go. Oops, this side is coming up. I didn't get it down in time. And now I've got a whole bunch of glue. Oh, no, it's not working. All right, let's get some glue there. Oh, boy. Oh, Gina. Ooh, 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 ooh. I need my finger. Is this side coming out? No, nope, not really. Just a little bit on that side. I can fix that. I have a mess on my hands. <laughs> wow. Okay. Do I need this down here or is that overkill to do it on the other corner? Yeah, no, don't need that. Okay. Now, do I need a snowflake anywhere? I think the snowflake would be... Well, I don't know. That snowflake might look cute there. Nope, 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 nope. I think we're done, except for... I'd like to put something behind there. Oh, and I have these words, too. I was thinking of using... Let's put... Oh, I have this paper. We could put that behind there. Let's just chop off a piece here. There's my little trimmer. Let's chop off a piece. That's about the right. I'm just chopping off a piece over here where I got some room. thing is, is that's going to be something for everything to get stuck on, and I didn't want something for everything to get stuck on. But that does look much better than that file folder there, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to get it glued down real, real good is what I'm going to do. Let's ink up the edge here. Alright, let's get this glue. Glue it down real, real good. Yeah, we're going to glue it down really, really good. But I'm not going to put so much glue that I glue my pocket together either. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to smear this together. I'm going to like rub it in so that it's not going to come out the edges. Okay, put this in here. Right on the edge. You know what, I think I put my um, inked edge inside. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my bone folder in there and do this. I did. This edge is not inked at all. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> all right. Now we got that done, y'all. Yeah. 
Here's these words. Rejoice. I like rejoice. That's pretty, but it's red. Holy cow, is it all red? Here's what we need this year. Except I'm having trouble cutting it. My hands aren't working. Maybe when I ink it up it'll look okay. It says peace. Along right here. Oh, it's way too big. All right, well, we're done then. There we go. I have my angel and my bird and my letters, my alphabet there, my letters. Thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye.